Good afternoon, this is Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV, and welcome to our video tutorial over uh, GeoVision's remote DVR feature in the Control Center software suite. Um, I've already got Control Center open here, and I've got it configured uh, with a few DVRs and a few IP cameras and video servers, etc. Uh, in this case, to get to remote DVR, uh, I'm just going to right click on one of my DVRs and select remote DVR. Now what this is, um, is essentially the entire GeoVision software interface through the network or through the internet. And uh, a really nice feature that GeoVision has done with this is that the video bandwidth is throttled uh, significantly so that it does not you know, consume bandwidth to the point that you can't use your keyboard or mouse effectively. And that's really been a problem uh, administrating or administering DVRs remotely with tools like Remote Desktop or PC Anywhere. Um, just to walk you through a, a few things, let me stop monitoring here so that I've got uh, access to the full interface. So uh, I can go in here and, and, and create schedules. I can get to all of my, uh, all of my settings. Um, I can uh, open up the view, view the video and audio log. <clears throat> Give this just a moment to load. Bear with me. Okay, and I can, you know, I can go in here to any of my events uh, that have been previously recorded and view them. I can even do uh, multiple cameras at a time and all, all kinds of fun stuff in here. I can grab these and merge them together and do, you know, one single longer view. Uh, and, and they're, of course, synchronized together by time. So that's another feature we can use with remote DVR. Uh, I'll show you another way to do that in another training video. But essentially, this is, this is the entire GeoVision interface as though I were sitting at the DVR. And the, uh, the permissions or the options, rather, that are available to me are uh, they're, they're based on, on my user configuration, or the user that I've configured, uh, the DVR user that I've configured with Control Center. So in this case, um, I'm a mid-level user. There are some things that I have deactivated if I had logged in. As a system administrator, I would have access to everything. Or this could be much more limited if you wanted to allow uh, somebody that wasn't as trusted to log into your system. And that's it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's that simple. Uh, hopefully this tutorial has been, uh, been useful to you guys. And thanks, as always, for viewing our video tutorials. And as always, thank you for choosing Apex CCTV.